It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beer Ruther and it's their Bock beer. Coming in at 6.8% ABV. A beerish beer, it's got the stamp on the back. I've been to the brewery a couple of years ago. Wonderful, wonderful place. It's the old Meisel Brewery, which is the largest it's in the Guinness Book World Records for the largest museum brewery in the world. It's terrific. You've got to go and see it. Meisel Brewery. Oh, this place, Bayarutha Brew House. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Also, very quickly as I'm pouring this, if you go to... Just Google Meisel and Friends. They've got a tremendous, tremendous kind of museum, as I just mentioned. And they've also got a state-of-the-art microbrewery cum um, brew pub. And it's tremendous. They do fantastic burgers, pizza, um, Weizen. I love German Weizen. Um, of course, all of the Meisel and Friends craft beers are on tap there. Uh, it's it's a wonderful place. It's well worth a visit. Beautiful, be beautiful kind of town as well. Lovely. We got a two finger white head. I was gonna say off white. It's 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 definitely white. Um, good levels of carbonation. As I mentioned, it's six point six percent, six point six point eight percent ABV. Half liter bottle, five hundred ml bottle. Um, there's a slight haze in there, slight haze, but it's it's a typical looking Bock beer. Um, dark chestnut coloured beer. Good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. It's just, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. That's what it is. It just takes me back. It just takes me back to being at the brewery, drinking the beers. I tell you what I do get. I get the water quality. There's a certain kind of aroma. Don't forget, this beer at 6.8% ABV will be about 93%. 92 93% water is the largest ingredient in the beer is the water so so it's no surprise then that you get from from region to region from country to country different water qualities soft water hard water there's a lot of malt nutty biscuity malts and it's got that kind of stinging nettle hop aroma there as well. Let's dive into this one then. Cheers. Oh, it's got a lovely mouthfeel. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a lovely kind of creamy, naturally creamy, not your cream flow rubbish that we have here in the UK where they pump it full of nitrogen or whatever they do, awful stuff. This is naturally creamy from, dare I say it, it's definitely the malt, of course, but they may, I've not looked at the ingredients, they may have added a touch of oat to this beer just to bring a, a, a little bit of creamy mouthfeel on the on the palate beautiful beautiful because the the beer sits on your palate a little bit longer and, and it just the flavors of the beer then are, are just sitting on your your taste buds longer so of course you're tasting more of the beer the nuttiness the breadiness the biscuitiness of the beer Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. 
there's a stinging nettle hop on the back end as I mentioned from the aroma that carries on in the taste also a nice bitterness on the back end it's good it's good it's very good very very good example of a Bock beer I'm a massive fan of Weizen, Box, Doppelbox, kind of all of these wonderful kind of German style beer. What's the what's the sour beer? The um, Berliner Weiss. Berliner Weiss is another one that I really like, that style of beer. I think the last... I think what done it was go into Germany, go into Meisel Weiss, my, my first time in Germany. That was the big... I was already in love with German beer, but that was the swear, that was German beer for me, like the setup, the setup, the way, the way there's a hotel there at the brewery, there's breakfast and, and it's all served around beer, it's not the other way around, it's not let's make a beer to go with the food it's let's make the food go with the beer and I, I really like that attitude I really like that that way of life that importance the 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 importance of beer is is right up at the at the top level with 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 German brewers they brew with pride uh, as, along with the Belgians as well the Belgians are really passionate about beer um, I mentioned these two countries because of course UK we've been brewing beer for a long time America are right into craft beer and they, 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 they're massively passionate about beer but when I mention Belgium and Germany I'm talking about countries that have never fallen out of love with beer they've always loved beer it's always been part of their culture for I don't know the last thousand years so you have to go, you have to be there to experience it, you have to, it's very difficult for me to put exactly into words, it's just a, a really, really good experience. And what I'm trying to get at here, what I'm trying to say is, is out of all of this, Weizen, Hefeweizen, Weissbeers, are my favourite style of beer. I would take a Hefeweizen, a really good Hefeweizen, over any other style of beer in the world. It's probably taken me, probably took me eight years to decide on what was my favourite style of beer. But I like the consi the really good flavour of a Weiss beer and the consistency that I want another and I want another and I want another and they all taste the same as the last one. Somehow we've managed to kind of talk about vice beers when we're reviewing a Bock beer, but I'm just, I'm just breathing my passion at you. It's tremendous, absolutely tremendous beer. Nettily, hoppy, biscuity, bready, nutty, beautiful creamy mouthfeel. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Let's rate it. It's probably all in German, so I'm not going to be able to read too much on the back of this bottle. I don't know if there's oats in the beer, even if I tried to read the back of the label. Look, it's all in German. So maybe if anybody's watching from Germany, if you could comment in the comments box, is there a little bit of oats in this beer to give that creamy depth? I'd be much appreciated. Appreciative. Rating. <laughs> Finally, we're on to the rating. I like this beer enough to give it a solid Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.